What happens when Elon Musk's Starlink faces off against China's Chamfan constellation in a race to dominate the skies? This isn't just about satellite internet. It's a high-stakes battle of technology, power, and ambition that could change the world forever. Starlink, developed by Elon Musk's SpaceX, has become the poster child of satellite internet innovation. Since its inception, the project has launched thousands of satellites into low Earth orbit, creating a constellation capable of providing high-speed internet to over 100 countries. With a staggering user base and rapidly growing traffic, tripling in 2024 alone, Starlink has already proven its value in connecting rural and undeserved areas. Beyond individual users, Starlink has expanded its reach to include airlines, cruise lines, and even mobile users with compact satellite dishes. Its global adoption highlights how it's bridging digital divides, offering connectivity where traditional infrastructure fails. Yet the story of Starlink is not just about technological breakthroughs, it's also about its geopolitical impact, demonstrated during the Ukraine conflict when Starlink services became a critical asset for communication. This intersection of technology and strategy has made Starlink a leader, but it's also drawn scrutiny from governments and competitors. On the other side of the world, China has embarked on its own ambitious satellite internet journey with the Qianfan Constellation project. Dubbed the Thousand Sails Mega Constellation, it's a direct challenge to Starlink's dominance. Initiated in 2024 by Shanghai Spacecom Satellite Technology, or SSST, Chiang Fan plans to deploy over 15,000 satellites to establish comprehensive global internet coverage. In its first year, the project has already seen successful launches, with batches of satellites deployed in August, October, and December 2024. By the end of 2025, the initial phase of 648 satellites is expected to be operational, marking a significant step forward in China's quest to dominate space-based internet services. Chiang Fan's progress signals China's determination to not only compete with but potentially surpass Starlink in terms of scale and capability. However, launching such a massive constellation comes with challenges, including the need for precision in deployment and the risks associated with creating additional space debris. Deploying and maintaining thousands of satellites is no small feat, and both Starlink and Chiang Fan face significant technological and operational challenges. Starlink has demonstrated remarkable efficiency thanks to SpaceX's reusable rocket technology, which has drastically reduced launch costs, with SpaceX's valuation reaching $350 billion. The company has a financial cushion to sustain Starlink's aggressive expansion. However, even with these advantages, managing such a vast network of satellites requires constant innovation to address issues like latency, bandwidth disruption, and satellite deorbiting. On the other hand, Chiang Fan's development highlights the hurdles of building a mega constellation from scratch. For instance, the fragmentation of a long March 6A rocket stage during an initial deployment created a cloud of space debris, emphasizing the risks inherent in these ambitious projects. The challenges of scaling and maintaining these constellations underscore the complexity of turning futuristic ideas into practical, reliable systems. This satellite race also carries profound geopolitical implications. Starlink's rapid deployment and global availability have raised concerns among nations about the lack of regulatory oversight in privately managed satellite networks. During the Ukraine conflict, Starlink's ability to provide internet access in contested regions demonstrated its strategic value, but it also highlighted the potential for private companies to wield significant geopolitical influence. Governments worldwide are now grappling with how to manage this new reality, where satellite constellations blur the lines between corporate ambitions and state interests. The availability of launch sites plays a pivotal role in determining the success of large-scale satellite constellations like Starlink and Chiang Fan. Both projects rely on their respective infrastructures to achieve their ambitious deployment goals but the strategies and limitations differ significantly. For Starlink, SpaceX's ownership of multiple advanced launch facilities in the United States gives it a significant edge. Sites like the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, and Vandenberg Space Force Base in California allow for high-frequency launches tailored to varying orbital requirements. SpaceX's reliance on its Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets, designed for reusability, has drastically reduced the cost and time needed for satellite deployments. This capability enables Starlink to maintain a rapid and consistent pace of satellite launches, 
which has been instrumental in its ability to quickly build out its constellation. Moreover, the use of dedicated SpaceX infrastructure means Starlink faces fewer scheduling conflicts or delays compared to operators who depend on shared launch services. China's Qianfan constellation, on the other hand, relies heavily on its state-operated launch infrastructure. With key facilities like Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center in the Gobi Desert and Zhichang Satellite Launch Center in Xishuan and the Wengchang Space Launch Site on Hainan Island, China has strategically placed launch sites to cover a variety of orbital inclinations. These launch centers are capable of handling the demands of Qianfan's large-scale satellite deployments. However, the ambitious scope of deploying over 15,000 satellites creates unique challenges. Existing facilities are already tasked with supporting a wide array of national and commercial missions, and adding the Qianfan launches to the schedule could strain resources. Additionally, traditional rocket systems like the Long March series are not yet reusable, leading to higher costs and longer turnaround times between launches compared to SpaceX. For China, the Qianfan project represents more than just technological innovation. It's a strategic move to counterbalance Starlink's influence. With backing from the People's Liberation Army, Qianfan is designed not only for civilian use, but also for military applications. Ensuring China's data security and communication sovereignty, this dual-use nature of satellite constellations raises important questions about the role of space technology in global power dynamics. The environment and astronomical impacts of these mega-constellations cannot be ignored. Both Starlink and Qianfan contribute to an ever-growing number of satellites orbiting Earth, raising concerns about space debris and its long-term consequences. The risks of collisions in orbit increase as more satellites are launched, potentially jeopardizing other space missions and creating challenges for safe navigation in space. Additionally, the brightness of these satellites has drawn criticism from the astronomical community as their presence leaves streaks in telescope images, disrupting scientific research and altering humanity's view of the night sky. The aesthetic and practical impacts of these constellations highlight the need for careful regulation and innovative solutions to minimize their environmental footprint. China's Qianfan constellation also reflects a strategic response to the growing importance of satellite internet in global politics, as Starlink expands its services globally including in areas where Chinese influence is contested, Qian Fan aims to offer an alternative that aligns with China's geopolitical goals. For Beijing, controlling its satellite internet infrastructure is not just about connectivity, it's about ensuring independence from Western technologies and asserting its presence in the space race. This rivalry with Starlink and Qian Fan underscores the broader competition between the United States and China for technological and strategic dominance with satellite constellations becoming the latest battleground. The traditional hurdles facing Qianfan also mirror the challenges Starlink has encountered. Scaling satellite networks to meet global demand requires not only advanced technology, but also robust systems for maintenance, upgrades, and deorbiting aging satellites. The risks of malfunctions or delays in deployment can disrupt services and erode public confidence. While SpaceX's experience with reusable rockets gives Starlink an edge in rapid deployment, Qianfan's reliance on more traditional launch methods may slow its progress. However, China's state-backed model allows for substantial resource allocation, potentially offsetting some of these challenges. Yet the sheer scale of Qianfan's ambitions raises questions about its long-term sustainability and the viability of managing a network that could eventually exceed Starlink's size. As the rivalry intensifies, the role of satellite internet in shaping the future of global communications becomes increasingly evident. Beyond individual users, these constellations are poised to redefine industries ranging from agriculture and logistics to disaster management and defense. The ability to provide reliable internet connectivity anywhere on Earth has transformative implications particularly in developing regions where traditional infrastructure is lacking. However, this promise comes with significant challenges, from ensuring equitable access to addressing the environmental and operational risks associated with large satellite networks. Ultimately, the battle between Elon Musk's Starlink and China's Qianfan constellation represents a convergence of technology, strategy, and ambition. While both projects aim to revolutionize global internet access, their approaches reflect the broader contrasts between private enterprise and state-driven initiatives. Starlink's entrepreneurial model emphasizes innovation and rapid deployment, 
while Qian Fan's state-backed strategy prioritizes national security and long-term planning. As these two giants compete for dominance, their success and failures will shape not only the future of internet connectivity, but also the broader landscape of space exploration and geopolitical relations. This satellite showdown is more than just a competition. It's a glimpse into the future of how humanity will connect, communicate, and compete on a global scale. As the battle unfolds, it will test the limits of technology and challenge existing norms and redefine what's possible in the realm of global communications. The question is, who will emerge as the ultimate victor in this race to dominate the skies?